channel. Today I'm going to be filming a what's in my emergency kit slash hyper bag and this is everything that I have to keep on me now that I have transitioned onto the insulin pump. Before when I was controlling my diabetes with pen injections I didn't carry around nowhere near as much as what I have to now and I think this is going to give me a massive kick up the backside really. I've had to go out and pretty much buy all of this new and the whole concept of treating a hypo and stuff I to me I find is completely different to how I've ever done it before um, but I'm really excited for this new journey that I'm going to go on with my pump so I'm just going to get right into the video. So this is my hypo kit slash emergency bag and it's just a makeup bag which is made out of the plasticky material which is um, easy to wipe down for when it gets messy when it's chucked in my bag or if it just gets messy in general I can just wipe it down and it will still look uh, presentable and neat. So when I open it up it is pretty full, pretty ram packed but it has absolutely everything I need in it and if worse comes to worse and I still needed to put more stuff in it, if I was going away for like a six hour drive or anything in a long duration I could still fit more in here which is, which to me I think is really really good. So one of the first things I'm going to grab from out of here is my insulin bite. I just keep it in the box, keep the date written on it so I know when it's been opened and these are only allowed to be stored and opened out of the fridge for 28 days so by keeping the date on it I know when my cut off line is. I've been diabetic for 15 years and one of my worst things that I constantly do is a run out of testing strips. And I thought if I've got to carry around an emergency bag, um, I may as well just carry around testing strips because it's super easy to run out of strips. So I think it's a really good thing to keep in your bag whether or not you forget strips anyway. I've also got some Dextro Energy sweets which are orange flavoured and these are just for treating a hypo. I'm pretty sure if you're a type 1 diabetic you know what they are, they're just a very fast acting sweet. I've also got my Medtronic Mio set up. Um, I don't know if I'm calling them right, uh, but this is the cannula anyway. So we've got to carry everything in case we have to do a whole new set change. So I've got my cannula in pink, you can get them in blue and clear, but I just I have to. I also keep uh, a keto meter and keto strips just to if my blood shoot up for any reason, I can check to see if there's ketone. I have my Medtronic Reservoir um, for my insulin pump if I have to do a new setup. Also carry around a spare battery and a clip in case I decide to take my pump off for an hour. Um, this is in case my pump freezes or the battery runs out. Um, because this is my only option of insulin, like this is the only insulin that's getting through to me, I really need to make sure that if anything happens that I can get insulin through my body as quick as possible. I also prepared these little tubs full of sweet treats. Um, these again are for treating a hypo, but these have sweets that I actually really like in them. Um, just some really fast acting sweets. When I was pen injecting, I'd always over treat a hypo, so I decided this time around to go out, get little boxes, and for each hypo I have one box. And if uh, if my hypo doesn't come up or my hypo doesn't get fixed, I know to have another one, but this will hopefully just prevent me from overtreating a hypo. I also have, for, worst, for when worse comes to shove, my glucagon pen, and this is if I get unconscious due to a hypo. People know how to use these, there's instructions in them too. If I become unconscious, people know to just unplug my pump, get this at me, um, call for help, really. <laughs> then keep my short acting insulin pen in case the pump fails. Um, I can just inject with my Nova Rapid pen instead. I've also got in the bottom of my bag just some spare needles and disposable finger prickers because I'm also really good at losing the finger pricker at my blood meter. So that was everything that is in my hypo kit and I hope this has helped you. I think hypo kits are pretty much the same for everyone. Um, but I just wanted to show you what was in mine. If you want to see a blog post about this or if you've come from my blog, hi. Um, everything's gonna be lim linked down below if you wanna check that out. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more diabetes videos, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below what you want to see, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.